Well, hello, my lovely friends, and welcome to National Scrapbook Day YouTube Hop, a collaboration with some of my friends that are online to bring some scrappy layouts or journals or art journals or planner work, <laughs> whatever the case may be, their, their love of everything scrapbooking. And I thought I would do something a little different than what I have been doing lately, and that is bringing you a layout with only brand new product. Now, um, I will say I do have a couple of scraps from my bin, because you know I like to put those behind my photo and that's kind of it everything else was from some new collections that i had gotten primarily the Paige evans horizon collection where i fussy cut out a bunch of these lovely globes and i think that i am not the best fussy cutter when it comes to a circle but i seem to work it through and i'm okay with it being just a little bit wonky um, at first I was like, ah, oh, this is not a perfect circle. And then I thought to myself, you know, what, what in life, including my layouts is perfect. Uh, just enjoy the process and enjoy that you were invited to be on this YouTube hop and that you get to celebrate National Scrapbook Day. So that's what it's all about. Um, I also pulled from the new collection called Let's Travel from Cartabella. I just think it is so stinking cute. And so between the Horizon and the um, Let's Travel, I used some stickers, some paper, some ephemera, and a bunch of fussy cutting. So one of the papers in the Let's Travel line is full of luggage and so you see I cut out a few pieces of luggage there and I am just taking a circular ruler and I'm going to make sure that I have this in the center since I've already proven that I can't really cut a circle perfectly I know I can't draw one circle uh, perfectly so <laughs> I might as well use a ruler that I have had forever so that's my trusty little circle ruler that I've used since high school actually um, so I am going to spread these out just a little bit of a wider circle and I'm going to start to get messy here with the background, but I'm just laying this out to see kind of the design that I want and then I'm going to bring in some white gesso and prep this background. Now I usually try not to prep the entire background with gesso and I don't know why I think I'm saving some of it. Um, because I always try to go back and continue to add because I'm afraid that it won't cover the entire page. So I don't know, I usually do this in a two-step process because I'm trying to save gesso, <laughs> but um, I end up filling in that center a little bit. Even though I know there's gonna be a photo there, I might as well just give in and do it all the first time. But I guess we, we live and learn, live and learn. So. As you are watching this, um, I am sitting in pain with uh, shots in my feet <laughs> and um, new orthotics. So if you follow me for a while, you probably know that I have heel spur syndrome from being overly active and that has caused plantar fasciitis. So um, if I sound like I'm a little bit wincy, that is why I'm dealing with like sharp shooting pains in my feet right now and it's very difficult to train people and to work out uh, when you can't walk <laughs> let's just put it that way they're saying that i should be better within um i should be able to tell a difference within about a month i'm hoping that is true because i've been dealing with this since december or november maybe of last year and i just i uh, met my wits end so I did actually use some things for my stash as far as spritz and sprays go. Um, this little mica powder, I still haven't quite figured out how to use it. And you'll see me kind of play with it and I don't like it. So I cover it up with another color. Um, so I'm gonna use the Shimmers No Yoking that you see that has no shimmer in it. And then I'm gonna go over the blue with this Vibes color from Shimmers that is called Cold As Ice. 
and I like that much better. I thought about doing some Snowway Man, but um, I think it was too much of a cloudy blue. I wanted something that was more, I don't know, more um, matching some of the ephemera and some of these globes. So I am trying to be patient and letting things dry in between and trying to just kind of layer up a little bit more of these blues and yellows. And I think I had some greens. Yeah, I do end up adding some greens. I believe Don't Citron Me is the green color that I'm gonna end up adding here too. And lots of little sprinkles. So I really do love making these backgrounds. Um, I really love how this layout turned out actually and I think it's very appropriate for National Scrapbook Day because I I would have been disappointed had it not turned out to my liking. Oh, I know what I mean. I meant to tell you. Um, make sure you look in the description bar below because we're going to have, I don't know, eight or ten girls on this YouTube hop. And I want to make sure you get to watch their videos as well. There are some really talented ladies that do these collaborations with me. And Natalie heads up the collaborations and she does a great job of organizing it. So I just want to make sure that you don't miss out on seeing what they do for National Scrapbook Day because they put their heart into it. That is for sure. And there's a lot of talent too. So you can draw inspiration from the other girls on this YouTube hop. So I'm curious what everyone is getting to do for National Scrapbook Day. Is there some type of you know, desire to go to an all-day crop? Do you have plans to just scrapbook at home all day? Are you going to spend the day taking tons of photos so you can scrapbook in the future? I'm just kind of curious what everybody's doing for National Scrapbook Day. I know that I have plans to scrapbook all day on National Scrapbook Day, and I am going to love every minute of it. And, um... Leave me a comment below telling me what your plans are. I would love to hear because I get excited. <laughs> I get excited knowing what everyone's doing. So um, I would love to find out what your plans are. So I let all of this mixed media dry and I'm coming in with those globes and that luggage again, layering up my background with some scraps, which was basically the only old stuff. Um, once I layer up the photo, I'm going to figure out placement a little bit better of these globes and I'm going to lightly tack them down with some glue from my fine liner and I'm going to sew them down in a circle. So I, I make three passes around the um, circle and just make it kind of fun and wonky. There was really no particular, like I didn't gauge how far apart the little circles were or whatever but you'll see what i'm talking about here in a second once i get the photo matted and play around just a little bit but i just love these globes i think they're so pretty and they're so fun i always say this but i should have gotten two pieces of this paper but i have found when i just get one piece i have a tendency to cherish it so much so I have a feeling that's what I'm going to do with this. And then she has another one that looks like a wash of watercolors that I really like in that collection um, as a background paper. So I'm, I'm probably going to dig into that. I was going to try and use it on this page, but it didn't work out. I ended up going with a white background, but that is a fun collection. So... Here we go. I think I figured out where I'm going to place everything. And make sure you use glue to tack things down on top of ink or gesso, mainly gesso. Ink's not a problem, it's gesso. It just kind of repels any kind of adhesive. I mean, even sometimes you've got to put a little more glue than you would like to actually use to make things stick to gesso. So, see it's even trying to slide around before it dries, so. Getting the perfect placement. And this is a picture of me and Bab in Michigan at his parents' house sitting out on the patio. 
And so it's kind of a travel theme. It is uh, Michigan. So we were there for 4th of July last year. And we're just happy. We're just taking little selfies out on the, the porch. And his parents are actually thinking about selling his childhood home. And men are so funny because I'm like, Bab, is it going to be sad if your mom you know, and dad sell the house? And he's like, no, why? <laughs> I'm just showing you that I sewed down these globes. So um, he's like, why would that make me sad? My mom's always wanted a bigger house. And I'm like, well, because you grew up there. I mean, don't you have any kind of attachment to that house? And he's like, nope. <laughs> it's like, oh, okay, well, that settles that. <laughs> Go ahead and sell, parentals. I do not care. Um, and his brother just bought a house. And what's funny is his brother bought a house that was like 45 minutes farther north away from the parents. And then the parents have been looking at houses up in that same area. <laughs> so um, his brother is not exactly big into hanging out with family if you know what I mean so it's kind of funny that he was trying to move kind of away and um, with his fiance and they just closed on the house and then found out that the parentals were looking to buy near them <laughs> so um, I thought that was a little bit fun anyway I did pull from the let's travel collection these labels one that says life is good and one that says a journey and um, it says in what, what does it say every journey is just the beginning so I like that and I'm going to use journey as my title and you can see there's a couple of other pieces of little fussy cut luggage that I added and also another couple of pieces that have airplanes on them that are part of the ephemera for the Let's Travel collection. And yes, I am using some old chipboard that I just was going to throw out. I figured why not? I will just glue it to the back instead of using my double-sided foam tape. And so I did do that. And now I'm adding just a little bit of white thread. I've been into white thread lately. It's like I don't know it just adds that little touch and less is more on the thread for me I've tried to use more and I can't stand it so very very small amounts seem to make me happy and I do that in a couple of places um, around the page as you can see here <clears throat> so there is some more of that chipboard I'm just putting behind that journey label and then I am I think I'm going to reach for the stickers next for that Let's Travel collection. <clears throat> Sorry, my throat is starting to go out. As usual, I have the weakest, like, tiniest voice on the planet. You should have heard me teaching a class today with the microphone. <laughs> I always think I sound like Minnie Mouse, but... You know it is what it is so and um, the sticker that is a dark blue says this way and I really like how it adds that little pop of dark and I end up using that geo tag to balance it but I end up putting it on the green globe just there I, I ended up gluing it down I don't know if you can hear Bab in the background raging to some sort of music and making st <clears throat> strange noises but in case you can, that is what that is. No one is getting assaulted or anything. It would just be my fiance <laughs> being being himself. So, uh, arrowheads were from that sticker collection. And as I said, you have to glue everything down to gesso, even stickers. And I think I try to build a little cluster there in the upper left, but I decide against that. I am going to cut a notch out here instead and distress it and add some of that pink scrap behind it. But first, I'm going to go through this Pink Fresh Studio new collection and see if I can build a little cluster. I think I only end up using one piece from that collection. It's going to go below the label that says Journey, and it is a darker blue that says 
You are the music in me. And since he makes my heart sing, I thought that would be an appropriate label to use on this layout. So just sticking that all back in the bag and deciding I'm going to use that one little label right there. And then after I get that cleaned up, I'm going to make my little notch. Yeah, I kept trying to use that collection. I just couldn't do it. Um, okay. I've almost wrapped this up here. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. I look forward to finding out what you're doing for National Scrapbook Day. And if you have layouts or things that you would like to share for National Scrapbook Day, please go over to the Cheeky Studio Facebook group and post there. Um, if there's any sales or discounts or things going on, uh, maybe there's an online hop, maybe there's another YouTube hop, something that would be of interest to a scrapbooker, I would encourage you to share, share over on that group. And I'm losing my voice. <laughs> ah! It's so hard having a weak voice and allergies. It's it's terrible. So no one ever has to worry about me yelling at them because that would literally, that would just be terrible. I would cringe. <laughs> I would be so upset that I had to strain my voice any more than just talking. So I'm going to finish up with um, some sprinkles again in the same colors that I used before. The cold as ice, the no yoking, and I believe some of the don't sit on me i think there's even a little bit of hermit the frog in there which was a colorings um and that that does wrap it up so here is a close-up view and isn't it so pretty i love all the sprinkles i really love this background i love the little messy thread and the labels and i really like how these two collections really went together well I knew I wanted to fussy cut out those globes when I bought that paper I knew I wanted to fussy cut out the luggage and you know I love to travel so lots and lots of ideas I have to use both of those collections for so hop over to the next girl check her video out and give her some love and information on how to find me in other places is at the end of this video. I hope you're having a lovely day, and I will talk to you later. Ta-ta for now. Bye!